Renaissance means rebirth. The Renaissance has started about from the 14th century to the 16th century. Before the Renaissance, church had the most power. Church was the most powerful thing before the Renaissance. And the church believed that the people were all about sins and greed. So the only way to purify their sins were to visit the church, to make offerings, and to pray to God every single day. Before the Renaissance, knowledge was limited. So lots of people were wondering how this world they are on is like. People started to believe that they are free to discover the place they are on and free to know what they are around. So lots of people have started going around and examining trees, plants and other stuff. They also believe that man are the ones who created the rules. So man are the ones who can change the rules as well. But the churches disagreed. They said gods were the ones who created the rules. And no one can change it or disobey it unless God tells them to. Everyone started asking, why can't they just follow God's teaching and why can't they just discover this natural place for themselves? And without asking the church, they started to go and examine everything around them. Many believe that the Renaissance was started in Italy. And art and inventions has made the world better. It has uh, shown the beauty of inventions, creations, and many others. Also, school has been started during the Renaissance. So knowledge has been passed down faster than usual. People who wanted to change the world, like Donatello or Michelangelo, or many others, were called the new thinkers. During the Renaissance, the church has allowed priests to sell forgiveness for the people's sin. So people could have just went to the church and bought the forgiveness instead of going to the church and praying to the gods. They were also allowed to buy forgiveness before committing their sins. And those priests were called the Angelsons. Many other priests believe the idea was wrong. Gods are the only ones who are allowed to forgive for people's sins. Priests don't have the power to sell sins. So they protested against the church. And, they, and those people were called the protests. During the Renaissance, they were known as the Lutherans. And the person who started it was Martin Luther. In the middle of the Renaissance, book printings have been invented. And the first book to be invented was the Bible. The Bible has been translated into more than 36 different languages. Well, because in the Renaissance, lots of people knew more. They know more, they know different languages, so they can translate the Bible into their own languages. As you know, every single good side has a bad side, like yin and yang. So the bad side of the Renaissance was there were wars and Lots of countries didn't get to change, like, for example, Spain. But back to the good side. Of course, although it was bad, there were lots of good as well, like art, technology, astronomy, science, medi uh, medical, and lots more has been invented. Before the Renaissance started, it was the age of the church. But when the Renaissance has started, and after that, the age of the church has died and has reborn into the age of discovery which is still continuing right now. The Renaissance art is very different from the art before the Renaissance. Here's an example. This is an art from before the Renaissance. As you can see, it has no perspective, it's flat, it's colorless, and most of it is about God. So one of the Renaissance sculptures were David, made by Donatello, and it showed the beauty of man. It didn't represent God. Lots of people consider it as insult to the gods. It was. But Donatello has opened everyone's eye that beauty of nature and man are also important, not only God. After everyone seeing Donatello's sculpture, lots of people have started drawing art and making sculptures of the beauty of nature instead of just God. Here's an example of an art painting during the Renaissance. You can see it's more bright, it has more colors, it has perspective, it's still about God, but it's more realistic. I'm going to talk about Galileo, since I like him the most and I think he's the most famous scientist in the Renaissance. His first theory was the falling theory. So basically, Aristotle said any, the heaviest object would fall first. So imagine if an object is four times heavier than the other object, then it's going to fall four times as faster than the other object. Galileo disagreed. 
He said, the weight does not matter in falling objects. For example, a paper. You see, a paper, when it's laid out like this, it falls really slow. But with the same weight, and crumbled up, it's going to fall way faster than normal. So, Galileo made up a theory that the only thing that affects the speed of the falling objects are the shape and the size. Galileo's first invention was the military geometric compass. Well, basically, uh, in the Renaissance, lots of weapons has been invented and the most useful weapon was the movable cannon but whenever they wanted to shoot they had to go through lots of math and calculations to actually hit the target Galileo made a very useful tool easy to make which kind of looks like this here's a better picture which measured the cannonball's flight very accurately after experiencing with concave and convex lenses Hans Lippershey was the first one to invent a very useful item for the military and the navy. Can you guess? Maybe not. It's a telescope! Although you can look four times as far as normal, the images were upside down. So Galileo took the telescope and spent 24 hours trying to figure out how to turn the image right side up. He turned the lenses, he tried to put it inside out, but it didn't work. So he came with another conclusion and a final one. If a convex lens turns it upside down, or a concave lens turns the image upside down as well, then why not try putting a concave and a convex lens into the tube? He tried it out and the images were right side up! And the results were way better than normal. You can look 10 times as far as normal. Lastly, some of you may be asking, what did science help during the Renaissance? I believe science had the biggest impact during the Renaissance. Without science, we wouldn't have most of the things we had today or it would be delayed for a long time. For example, Galileo during back then has made the most accurate clock. Or many others has improved on medicines and science. But the main idea is, science has helped humans have a better life. Thank you for listening to Renaissance Newscast or News Radio or whatever you want to call it. I hope you enjoyed it, I hope you learned something, I hope you got out some something from it. But if you did not, then listen to the others and screw you, I'm not gonna repeat what I said anymore. Thank you, bye.